Man, that thing was nasty. You're one brave dog, dude. If we were you, we would run for the hills the very second Cruella DeVille came knocking. That woman has some serious issues when it comes to canines. Luckily, you have Carlos by your side, and he won't let anything happen to you. You guys are best friends after all. If she does not like you, then she is not the one for you. You really are a man's best friend. But for your sake, we just want to warn you against spending some one-on-one -on -one time with Cruella DeVille, no matter how sweet and innocent she may act. Carlos. They have dogs in Oregon. Mal and Ben's love story ended with a happily ever after, but we're still curious to find out about their next chapter. Keep watching to find out how things will change now that the barrier has been taken down for good. Watching the Descendants franchise come to a close is bittersweet. On one hand, we're so happy for Mal and Ben. They're going to be exceptional rulers. But on the other hand, we're going to miss our favorite characters way too much. We would love to get a glimpse of Mal and Ben's happily ever after, but that's not the way Disney movies work. Throughout the Descendants franchise, we've seen our VKs blossom into amazing people who know what's right and what's wrong. Love is not weak or ridiculous. It's actually really amazing. Which is a total improvement. Mal hasn't always done what's right, but she always found a way to right her wrongs. And that's exactly what she does at the end of Descendants 3. Throughout the film, Mal makes it known that she believes shutting the barrier is the only way to save Aradon. For 16 years, I had nothing. She lies to Evie and her friends and tricks Uma and her pirates into helping her beat Audrey. By the end of the movie, Mal has a change of heart and decides to tell them the truth. They shun her at first but end up agreeing with her vision. Some of the VKs chose to go back to the aisle so that they can be with their families and friends. But fortunately, the barrier doesn't stay closed forever. When it comes time for Mal and Ben to give the people of Aradon a speech, Mal tells the crowd that everyone has both good and bad inside of them. She tells Ben that she can't be the Queen of Aradon, while her very own people are locked up on the aisle. Luckily for Mal, Ben always had a soft spot for the aisle, and was totally on board with her plan. Mal brings down the barrier, forming a bridge between the aisle and Aradon. This way, people can come and go as they please. But what does this mean exactly? Well, for starters, things are going to change, and fast. One of the biggest changes will have to do with the children from the Isle of the Lost. Each and every VK will be allowed to attend Aradon Prep, which will help them become good people instead of villains. I can't believe I get to live with you in your very own castle! It's just a little starter castle. <laughs> So in other words, Headmistress Fairy Godmother is going to have her hands full, but hopefully her daughter Jane will step in and lend a helping hand. While many of the villains will choose to move to Aradon for good, others will want to reside on the Isle, but not before giving it the upgrade it deserves. Now that magic is no longer illegal on the Isle, its people don't have to live in poverty anymore. The Isle will go from poor to chic in no time, but will always maintain its villainous charm. Fruits, trees, and endless supplies will pour into the Isle, making it a lovely place to live. Now that Mal and Vin are the king and queen of both Aradon and the Isle, many changes are going to happen. But first, Mal and Ben need to have their royal wedding. And you just know that Evie is going to design the most beautiful wedding dress for Mal. And now that Uma and Mal are friends again, we wouldn't be surprised if Mal asked Uma to be one of her bridesmaids. But Mal and Ben's relationship isn't the only one that's booming. After all, Evie did wake Doug up with true love's kiss. So the Blueberry Princess and Doug are bound to tie the knot at some point or another. And the same can be said about Carlos and Jane. Or should we say Jarlos? Jane was so nervous to meet Cruella de Vil, and we can't really blame her. Can you imagine having Cruella as a mother-in-law? But romance isn't the only thing in store for our favorite VKs, because new friendships are also in abundance. Not only are VKs and AKs forming new bonds, but old rivals are burying the hatchet. Uma and Mal are friends again, and Jay and Gil might just have the most adorable bromance of all time. We mean they're going on vacation together. That says it all. And while we're on the subject of AKs and VKs, did you guys notice the spark between Harry Hook and Audrey? Clearly, Harry was impressed with Audrey's finesse for evil tantrums, and she seemed to be interested too. Now that the barrier is down for good, Dr. Fasilier and Celia are definitely going to open up a tarot reading shop somewhere in Aradon, and they're finally going to get the cut they deserve. You make sure Sure you get your cut. King Ben and Queen Mao will rule over the United States of Aradon and turn VK Day into a brand new holiday. Every year they'll celebrate the day when the barrier was taken down. So there you have it guys, the Descendants 3 ending in all its glory. Were you happy with the way things ended? Tell us in the comment section. And that's a wrap. Subscribe to The Things if you want more D3 videos to come your way. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later.